Hey, what's up? It's Vince Leah from VinceLeah.com and I'm at the happiest place on earth today, Disneyland, trying to find some vegan food. So I came across some cafes, some candy places. I have my doubts, but let's check it out. Oh, the pretzel was vegan. Now I'm in the candy shop, and there's not much that's vegan, but the kettle corn, it's vegan. The popcorn outside has butter. That's not vegan. So I found an ice cream shop. Again, I have my doubts, but last time there was a pretzel. Let's see what they have. No luck at the ice cream shop. So the ice cream shop didn't have anything, but I came across this ice cream stand and they have this frozen Minute Maid and the lemon actually has turmeric in it. They have strawberry and other flavors. Now granted, this isn't the healthiest option, but hey, it's an option. I'm at the Jolly Holiday Cafe. Now they don't have any vegan items on the menu, but I'm pretty sure that I could make some of the salads and sandwiches vegan. Now when I was a kid, Disneyland meant churros. Now, the ones here, they're not vegan, but if you know a good vegan churro recipe, leave it in the comments below, because right now, I'm dying for a churro. I'm at the Carnation Cafe on Main Street, and on the menu is a vegan burger. Now, I'm outside of the Pizza Port in Tomorrowland. Now, normally you don't think of vegan food and a pizza restaurant, but I'm gonna try it out. Let's go see what they have. All right, so I checked out the pizza port. You can get a salad there. You can get pasta with no cheese. They have a vegetarian pizza, but they won't make it without the cheese. However, they do have a dairy-free option because apparently their standard crust has dairy in it, but this dairy-free option is a special. You order it, it's like a personal size pizza, so they do have options. All right, so I'm at the Tomorrowland Terrace, also known as the Galaxy Grill. Now, this is the place I always used to eat as a kid. On the menu, they have a veggie wrap, but it does have cheese in it, and they're pre-made, so they can't take the cheese out of that. But they have a vegan burger that's not on the menu, and they also have a dessert, a strawberry fruit bar. What I'm finding out is even if vegan items aren't listed on the menu, if you ask questions, most of the time, they can hook you up. There's a little snack place right here and they have corn on the cob, but unfortunately, the corn on the cob comes to them already buttered. I'm at the Riverbell Terrace and they actually have barbecue tofu as an entree. And many of the salads can also be made vegan and you can get the barbecue tofu on the salad. So that's pretty cool. Now, if you're in the mood for gumbo or jambalaya, check out the French market. They have both options, vegetarian, but to make them vegan, simply take it out of the bread bowl. The bread has dairy in it and get it in a regular bowl and you'll be good to go. If you find yourself at the Hungry Bear restaurant, simply order a garden burger or a salad with no turkey. Both options are vegan. Now I'm at Pooh's Corner and most of the desserts here are not vegan, but in the corner there are three vegan and gluten-free options. There's a rice milk chocolate bar, a dark chocolate bar, and a trail mix. So in the corner of Pooh's Corner, they have vegan and gluten-free. At Cafe Orleans, some of the salads could be made vegan. They have a fried green tomato sandwich, but it's fried in the same oil that they use to make the regular Monte Cristo sandwich, but they have a vegetable ragu, and if you order that without the cornbread and no chicken, no Parmesan, and no fish, that's vegan as well. One of the most popular desserts here at Disneyland is the Dole Whip Soft Serve. There's actually a line for this thing, like it's a ride. Let me, let, let, just let me go show you. Here is the Dole Whip. And here is the line for it. If you're looking for Mexican, they have you covered at Rancho del Zocolo. Now you could order the burritos and the tacos with just veggies. You could also get the rice, the beans, salad with no cheese. There's plenty of options here. So I checked out the Plaza Inn. Now they have salads you can get with no cheese. The pasta and the pasta sauce is also vegan. But the breadsticks aren't, so I'm kind of seeing a theme here at Disneyland. Really be careful on the bread because it may have dairy. 
All right, so that wraps up our little Disneyland vegan guide here. If you do come, be sure to check with the restaurants and ask what the ingredients are since the recipes could always be changing. They were really helpful here. One thing I did notice is everybody I asked here, they definitely answered all my questions. If they didn't know the answer, they went back and talked to the chef to find out what the ingredients were. So they were really great with that. So don't be afraid to ask, especially since a lot of the items that are vegan aren't on the main menu. Don't forget to also check out my free ebook, link below, 10 Hacks to Eating Healthy. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. Let me know if you've been to Disneyland and what you had that was vegan. And I'll talk to you soon, bye.